Putin claimed that Russians and Ukrainians are one people and his war is defensive. How has that changed in light of targeting utilities like heat, electricity, and water for civilians? Well, I mean, the guy was full of himself from the beginning. Like this guy, this was, this is more about Putin and his legacy, I think, and his ego and proving like this, w- losing this war, I don't think it's about like maybe he had convinced himself that this is about making Russia great and bringing Russian people and Ukrainian Ukraine that is part of Russia together and stuff that like all that legacy and we're at the side of light and we're fighting the forces of darkness and all that. But I think at the end of the day, this is about him, um, his identity being so attached to Russians, Russia's power um, that he that it's about him having a meaning and saving face around the world. Like he has been humiliated and humbled to such a degree that it's embarrassing. I I sometimes feel uh, third degree embarrassment from him, just watching how much he's being ridiculed and embarrassed all around the world. And I just think like he, before he dies, more than anything, he wants to see this war turn around. It doesn't really matter about what he said his intentions were at the beginning. He just has to prove to the world that he didn't make a mistake, that this war was not a mistake and he he's the winner. So he's going to do whatever at all costs necessary. He's going to try to turn it around, even if it means like crushing and destroying the people who he claimed to be trying to save. Well, what do you think? Yeah, absolutely. I agree. Uh, he, he was full of himself. He's a liar. He's a um, he, he he thought that he's just going to walk in. Um, they, they played these videos leading up to this war that, oh, if we want to take Ukraine, we'll we'll take Ukraine in a matter of uh, weeks, if not days. Um, so, so there was so much war, war hysteria. And then he kept t- telling the world, no, 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 we have no intention of going in and he went in. Um, and then he was humbled. His forces were killed in huge numbers. Um, uh, uh, he had to mobilize a lot of uh, what, 300,000 people, and then he might have to do it again. Um, the, his forces, nothing has improved uh, at the front. Um, it's still going really, really badly for him. He's constantly losing territory. And then in the haste, th- this is how everything that he did, and this is why, you know, like the West is just too powerful you know and too smart as well you know he 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 uh, annexed um he, he did this sham referenda and then he annexed um uh, donetsk luhansk zaporizhia uh and uh Kherson region like this four like the, which, which amounts to like nearly 30 percent of ukrainian territory he annexed it with his sham referenda and and then he said that okay if anyone attacks, because Ukraine doesn't recognize it, the West doesn't recognize it. If anyone attacks it or tries to take it back, then we reserve the right for a nuclear war. And he kept saying that, and but it didn't matter. That didn't stop the Ukrainians, and they kept going and they kept going. And Zelensky just said a few days ago um, that um, that, in, that that you know we will take everything. We we will go back to what it was in 2014, which means uh, Crimea. Is also fair game for them to take back. And why would they not take it back? The only fear everyone had was nuclear war. Um, but uh, I, I think this is why I think Biden used that and, and NATO said it, that there will be severe consequences. And then second and third tier generals, American generals said that, you know, there will be severe consequences. But severe consequences, they didn't mean that, okay, we're going to, we're, we're, we're also going to, you know, tit for tat kind of nuclear war. This, that's just crazy. But it's going to be now... United States or NATO is involved indirectly. Now, Patriot missiles are going to you, to Ukraine. Putin is really upset about that. Medvedev, uh, ex-president, he said, oh, uh, if you give them... By the way, Patriot's a totally defensive um, uh, missile, uh, missile system. Yes, yeah? so it's, it's, it's like if a missile is coming your way, they can shoot it down uh, I think with a very high um, uh, degree of precision, um, success rate. So he, so he, and 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 these were, and and they're saying that hey, you know, don't even give them defensive capabilities. Well, screw you. They said, well, screw you. We're gonna we're, we're gonna give it to them. I was listening to, um, I think it was General Douglas. I think it was no, not Douglas. What's his name? Anyway, I, I, Petraeus. I think it was. I was listening to him, and he was saying that these are very heavy. Uh, these are very expensive and heavy uh, defensive systems. Like each uh, missile on its own costs about three million dollars. Um, and the whole system would probably 
cost somewhere around, you know, the launches will cost somewhere around $20 million. And then every time you try to shoot down. So the Ukrainians are not going to be using that against those Iranian drones that they have been bombarding the Ukrainian um, uh, uh, power grids and, you know, the basic infrastructure. Like, it's so pathetic. He Putin is running this war on such an old freaking principle that has absolutely zero military advantage this is a reason why he's losing they have low precision america and the west have this obsession with with high precision weapons you know why that is is because yeah if you bomb a village you kill ten thousand innocent civilians yes you've you've spread terror in the hearts of civilians but it's not going to give you any military value because the soldiers who are going to attack you they're still safe this the soldiers well, actually still safe. that's the strategy is not to uh, cause terror in the civili uh, civilians. The strategy when you um, attack civilian infrastructure is to make the people, the civilians, so tired of the war that they will go to the politicians and, say, Don't fight. and they say, like, can we negotiate and do peace? OK, however, historically, I saw an uh, and again, this goes back to these questions, OK? Um, has his uh, these saying have his actions hurt his propaganda though? That's exactly the point because I don't, Putin keeps to keeps uh, um, claiming that he's um, a student of history and he knows his history inside and out. Like he's so obsessive about how much is important to understand history and realize trends and learn from history. Put that's Putin's um, you know constant constant reminder to us about how important this is right and it seems like this he hasn't learned anything from history because analysis shows that when throughout history every time um an enemy tried to get the people to talk to the politicians by destroying civilian infrastructure it has had the waste opposite them all. It has had the opposite effect. Like the opinions of the people switched more towards we need to crush this enemy, that we stand united with our gov government against this evil that is destroying our lives. So it didn't actually divide the people against from the government against the war. It actually made people unite with their government more when it comes to crushing this, this enemy that is fighting them. So it, when it comes to the propaganda, because Putin had this this delusion that ukrainians will welcome russians when they come as their liberators right and he's somebody who constantly reminds the world about united states attacking iraq um and how how big of a disaster that came into be right and also about their own history with afghanistan but he, he apparently doesn't see that opinions in iraq are very much anti-american because of all the damage to the civilians that United States has caused through the, when it came to the occupation and also to the sanctions before it. So that division between Americans and Ar Iraqis has made it very difficult for United States to have a um, con constructive impact in Iraq after that history. So given that Putin's aim was, e even if Putin one day had a chance to convince Ukra Ukrainians that we are not, we are the same people, you have no chance anymore after what you have done in Ukraine. You have no chance anymore. So even, even by some miracle, if you actually manage to defeat Ukraine and conquer Ukraine, you are not going to be able to keep Ukraine anymore because that you are the devil in Ukrainian eyes. In their eyes yeah. So, yeah. So that's not going to be, you're not going to be able to force them to mix with each other because you have, I mean, you had that chance at some point. There was a time where Ukrainians and Russians saw themselves as saw the same people. But you who had that dream with this war, you have had completely made that div the division permanent. Um, but yeah, get my best-selling book, Why There Is No God, for free. Click on the link for it in the description.